I cut it back hard. You see the one of the big cut there and another cut up a little higher. Um, this native variety tends to have smaller leaves. It gets these beautiful flowers. It's been growing very vigorously, so I think this is a good time for me to cut it back. And all that energy of those flowers becoming fruit will then go into growth again. And it'll back bud where I want. I'll have to get rid of all this growth all around the base. Some of that might be from the roots, and some of that might be from seeds or so from before, from on previous year. Um, over here, I have uh, blueberry bushes of from a uh, blueberry picking nursery that got rid of some of their older trees and they make great material to collect when available because they, they're very thick trunks and taper and gnarly and they have exfoliating bark the leaves are a little bigger but these you can actually get good edible berries on you haven't ripened yet um, I did a lot of pruning last year I think that's why I don't have a lot more berries on it plus when I when I water them, I water pretty hard, and that's one of the ways I control insects on my plants and keep everything clean um, is the way I water. Um, there we got a little guy hanging out their tree here. We call them bonsai dragons. Um, so this, this is a, a kestrel variety of blueberry, which is known for the fruit being large and sweet. Um, but in terms of the the leaf size and the vigor, the native in this area does uh, really well. And that the bark's a little different, but it still has, still exfoliates. And if you clean it up, you'll get like a reddish hint to it. Um, this has a piece of dead wood up through the trunk, which gives it some interest. I could bleach that out if I'd like. Um, so today I'm going to prune this native way back. I'm not trying to get fruit off this. And this plant I wanted to show you. Um, I might do a little light pruning on it, but uh, I'm going to kind of just let that continue to go. As soon as those few berries ripen, and I want to enjoy eating them, and then that's probably when I'll uh, I'll do a heavy prune back on this. It looks like the tree on the right is a little more vigorous than the one on the left here. So the one on the left, I probably won't do any pruning, except maybe the tip of this. Um, I don't want that to weaken. I want that to gain strength. Um, for now, I have them together. In the future, it's a good chance I might separate them into two separate pots. Um, the soil, when it comes to bonsai, they like a very acidic soil. Now, if I didn't have it in bonsai soil, I would have it, before that, I had it basically in a mix of perlite and peat moss uh, to keep the soil very acidic. But when I put it into bonsai soil that drains very well, I, I, I make sure I purely now and then add some soil acidus fire. Um, and that's really, I noticed when I first did the bonsai with blueberries that they suffered a little bit and then I learned that they liked the soil very acid. So once I started adding the soil acidifier, um, they did very well and I haven't had any issues. Um, they were both, uh, this was potted last year and this was its last repot I believe was two years ago. Um, okay, so um, trying to think what else I need to say about blueberries. Uh, right now it's it's the middle of April, um, so I, if I was going to do any repotting, I would have done it already probably about two months ago. Um, you know, whenever the last danger of the last frost was. Um, but this tree, I need to prune it back. It's starting to get overgrown, and I see in the back there's a, a small dead branch. And I don't want it to get shaded out and have branches die. So I'm going to cut this back and, and I'm sure it'll, it'll grow vigorously back. Um, so I'm not too worried about that and prune all this stuff out. All right, let me uh, turn my camera. Start at the bottom. I'm going to prune out stuff that's inside the creases, stuff that's straight down or straight up, and things that are extra long I can cut back. So I'm keep this thing in shape.
Now I'm going to continue pruning in here. Um, I'm going to stop the video now and I'll restart it when I get uh, a little more done. All right. Got the tree pruned. This tree I'm going to prune just the tips of some of these, but let this one go, get stronger, especially this part. Um, there's the pruning I did. I don't know if I can get you a good image of it so you can see what I did. Cleaned out around the base. One thing with blueberries, um, with blueberry plants, um, if you see one branch really taking off, um, you need to cut it back because it'll it'll reorganize its resources and make one piece stronger and you can get die back in the other area. So if you see one area taken off way stronger, you know, even if you want it to be thicker, you can leave it a little longer, but prune the tips or whatever. Otherwise, you could get die back elsewhere on the tree. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I'm happy with the way this tree turned out looks good and that'll fill right back in um, maybe I'll make another video after uh, this other blueberry takes off a little more and I prune it back and get the pads going on that all right thank you uh, take care